today is another exciting time on your program, The Gist, on your darling online TV, you and I Evergreen TV. On The Gist today, we'll be discussing a very important issue in our society like we always do. But before we go on on The Gist today, I'd like to tell you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification button so that you can get notification when we drop exciting program like we always do on the TV channel. Thank you very much. Like I said today, we'll be discussing a very important issue that has eaten deep into the fabric of our society. Today, we'll be discussing about the victimization of the youth by the Nigerian police force, especially the SARS. I'm not going to be discussing this issue alone today. With me is Adenbibe Bulomo, and I still remain to Michelle Follow I'm sure welcoming you on the gist today. Like I said earlier, we'll be discussing about the victimization, the brutality, and the recklessness of the Nigerian police force, which has become the order of the day in our society. About some days ago, a young chap with dream for his future, his life was cut short recently due to the recklessness of the joint tax force and this has raised a lot of agitation a lot of you know protests among the youth and this is not the first time that we have cases of issues like this among the policemen in our country we have cases of someone being killed recklessly by the police just because of 50 naira mm -hmm. you know it's it was allegedly reported that the joint task force taught this guy because of the car they were driving, you know, they thought they were, they were into internet fraud and, and the rest. So they kind of want to arrest them. And some, some school of thought believe that even it is not about this police arresting them. They said some of them even extort money from those people. They don't want to know if you are into this fraudulent parties or if you are if you if you are into fraud or not. They just want to extort, extort money from you and collect money from you. You know, it has got to the point that as a youth, you can't walk freely on Nigerian road with sophisticated phones and with cars without them thinking that you you, you don't get your money fraud, legitimately. Yeah. Yes, that you are into fraud, and you know. Policemen are people that are supposed to enforce the law. Mm -hmm. They are the ones that are supposed to protect us. It is not an irony that those who are supposed to protect us are the ones putting us in danger, cutting the life of young, young men, promising men, cutting their lives in short. Like I was reading this afternoon and I saw that this guy, Idris, was an apprentice with an aluminium company. Imagine a guy who has vision for his life, who wants to, you know, work hard and end living in life. I don't know. I, I think a lot needs to be done. What you think, what you think can be done? I, it's, it's really alarming. Like if you look at it, it's really, really, really getting alarming. Our lives are at stake as a youth in this country. And these are the people that are supposed to protect us. They are at the ends of the affairs of the law. So what can we do? Uh, to me personally, uh, on this issue, so my own personal opinion or my personal view, I think this joint task force and size of the thing, personally to my own opinion, I think the government should scrap it. They should discard them. And um, to me, I've seen like the, the harms they've caused is even more than the goods they are supposed to do. Of course. Personally, like, I, 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 I was like asking someone a question like some days ago, like, since when this issue of uh, JCF, SARS, when they uh, started, how many robbery cases have they, have they been able to, to, uh, to do? How many, how many robbers, how many kidnappers, how many uh, fraud or whatever, have they actually caught that? They know that, no, this is legit. You understand, like, you know, no, no, this is a first time. You know that, uh -huh. and you sue them to court, then you follow the normal process. How many, how many of these cases have they actually done? You could see that we can hardly see, like some months ago, like maybe two or three months ago, I was somewhere, and I was just sitting down. You wouldn't believe, and there is a guy, it's a um, fashion design shop, is a guy. We just saw these people, not even in the uh, police officer's uniform, not even in the police uh, car, just in normal uh, car. Okay. And they just drove in, and they started searching uh, people inside the shop. Can you just imagine? 
I think that is very wrong. The government needs to do something about this. Personally, to my own opinion, I think the government should just scrap it and discard this issue of SARS and JT. I've not seen anything tangible they've been doing, personally, to my own opinion. Ser seriously, I think, I think I, I, I would like to say something on that. You know, a, even prior to this time, a lot of people, there have been a lot of hashtag on Twitter, on Facebook, and SARS. You know, a lot yeah. of people have clamored for for government to end this to end this movement of SARS because what they what they are supposed to do, like you said, are being neglected, yes. and they have been using this this movement to extort money from innocent youth, both innocent and the ones that are not innocent. When they are supposed to arrest some of those guys that are into fraud, what they do most of the time is demand money, money huge from them. amounts of yeah, money from money. them. I, I, a friend of mine has told me about a case where he was he was going out with his mom and they have to take the friend's car and he was at the front and they have to stop him with four or of his friends they were actually going for a church program and they stopped them and they were they were telling them that oh they know they are they are into fraud and they each of them has to pay them 50 50 k wow. before the mom now drove Imagine. drove in and i you know started explaining to them that oh these are my this one is my son and the rest and we are going to church. These ones are not for So it has got to the extent that in this country as a youth, you 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 are not you are not you know free. There is not mm. the freedom is not there for you to, to you movement. know take your your laptop with mm -hmm. you take your, your phone, phone with you or drive cars they mm. they, they believe that oh this one must be into fraud and they have a lot of money mm. we have to get you know some they say some things that you wonder okay why did we put you there they have to get their own share from the money, from the money so is. i think you know t you know telling them to end this movement telling them to end stars is not enough it's not enough. I believe there are other things we can do because this harassment, this brutality, yes, this so recklessness much. must be mm. called. If not totally stopped, must be called. The IGP must call his men into to order. order. Yes. A lot of promising youths' lives are that being wasted. wasted. All because of what? All because we it, this is this is a country where we, we have constitution and there are rules of law. You know, I don't think uh, uh, a police, any policeman, have the right to check your no, phone no, if, no, if, no. if 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 there are no cases that are prone for for you to be a criminal or something. Mm -hmm. If they have not proven that you're a criminal, I don't think they have any right to to ask for your phone, to ask for your laptop, and okay, check but things. on that issue. Like now, you're with your phone. Like a police officer told me that uh, nobody have the right to to uh, cross your path and just tell you, uh, let me check your phone. But uh, what what about the case that uh, someone who is fully armed with gun ask you to bring your phone? Are you, are you going to reject that? Are you going to back that opinion? Like, no, I can't give you my phone. Someone that is fully armed, like even threatening you that if you didn't give me that phone, I'm going to shoot you. And it might likely shoot. shoot. Yes. So you have a choice than just to release your phone. Of so I think the government needs a lot to do about that. Of course, like you said, yeah. and you don't have at that point, you don't have any choice. You don't have any and choice. And that is the harassment Definitely. we are talking about. Yeah. Because they are armed and they can do and undo. Like, look at what happened now. They they chase this young, mm. young promising guy. They chase him to death. Imagine. So I, what the 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 whatever arm they are they are carrying, whatever you know, arm they are carrying is for the protection of the citizen, of the not the for them to be reckless with mm. it and you know show that okay we are we, mm. or take the laws into their exactly. hands. You are not even permitted to shoot a criminal unless. Okay, maybe it's at the point of death you are trying to protect yourself, mm -hmm. and most of the time you are not even permitted to shoot to death. And it's even, until it's until someone is proving guilty that you can say, "Oh, this is a yeah, criminal." That's, that's what I was trying to talk about. Like even if if you actually see someone, maybe a guy or guys, like you suspect them that they are into uh, all this Yahoo Yahoo stuff, internet fraud, then I think once they are arrested, even if you want to do your job in a proper way. You can get them arrested, then do the normal processing, the normal investigation. Then you hand them over to the EFCC, not you collecting money from them or threatening their life because of something you're not even sure of. Of course. So the best is even if you arrest them, do the normal and uh, the normal process, the normal investigation. Then hand them over to the. I think the EFCC is in charge of anything like internet fraud. Yes, they don't want to take charge. 
from the police, not you shooting them. No, that's very wrong. See, I think I think Nigerian youth, we need to to rise up to this challenge. Mm. This cannot continue at all. No. We, we we shouldn't be a, a social media warrior. Mm. We shouldn't sit behind our keypads with our phone our and you know on social media fighting on social media yes. sitting. Let's move out. Mm. Let's move out. I know a lot of people have come out like the the Justice for All movement. You know, organized, born out of the, what what happened, the organized the hair, organized by Olushola Ajala and some other sets of people, and and a lot of people too have come out to to ask the government to prosecute the, those in, those, those, in, uh, those that have, that have found should, should bring out, out the should names. Even out we the should police. know them. Yes, we want they should to be know prosecuted. them. I want to know them. Yes. We want to see them. They should be prosecuted. I know a lot of people have come out, but they can't do it alone. No, no, no. No, we can't continue to sit behind our phones, you know, and be keypad warriors. Mm -hmm. We have to go out and let the world know what is happening. If Nigeria is not ready, if our government are not ready to fight this, let the international organization know about this. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people like the the justice for all have paid a visit to the to to the to the family of the victim and they promised them justice but we need to come together and join this these people that have come out to, to seek for justice as a youth let's come out and fight this because it can it it, it, it drifts today it can be any of Anybody us tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah. It can be any of us, it can be any of our brother, it can be any of our sister. Yeah. Because I heard of a case of a, a, a core member recently that was that was arrested because they believe is a boyfriend is into the uh, to fraudulent practices and they, they arrested because they didn't meet the boyfriend, they she arrested, arrested her. the girl and in the course of the whole thing, they shot the girl. Imagine, so it can be anybody today. Let's rise up. Enough for being a keypad uh, warrior, typing, you know, mm. doing hashtag on mm. social media. We need to come out. We need to let the world know what we want. We need to let the world know that this must stop. This must stop. These people are not doing, they are not doing what they, they are they're asking not doing us any good. To me, they are not good. We doing can't us continue any good. like this. They can't no. continue to waste people's lives like, like this and think, okay, and we continue to sweep everything under the carpet. Mm. And they, they continue doing it and look at themselves like, okay, they can easily get away with, get this. Away with this. It's, it's yes. saddening. It's saddening. A, 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 a guy of 21 oh, years yes. old who is trying to, to, to make a living, to get a better future for himself. He could have decided to be doing, to be doing uh, other things, but this guy decided that he wants to, to learn, to learn aluminium business. And it was, his life was cut short. Ima imagine the, 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 the position the parents, the family will be. And, you know, at the, uh, uh, after the whole thing on that day, the youth went out and, you know, doing a well, lot of like protests. Riots. Yes, there was riots. They mm -hmm. vandalized a lot of and which or a lot the of uh, the they vandalized. Yes, they that's vandalized not, a lot of things. They destroyed things. They wounded mm -hmm. a lot of people, you know, and the rest. This is not the solution. That's not the solution. Because we are trying to fight crime with crime again. Yes. If this youth are being arrested by the police, they are justified. Yeah, sure. Because that they is not definitely the solution. They will find guilty. That is not the solution. If we want to protest, let it be a peaceful protest. Yes. If you want the government or anybody to know, okay, this is what we are agitating for, let it be a peaceful protest, please. But we don't have to sit back behind our phones at home and just, you know, write a big write-up and, you know, hashtag NSARS, hashtag no, no, justice for all. No, that is not the solution. We need to go out, write petition to the law the courts, get lawyers, yes. let those people, let them be prosecuted. And if maybe if some of them are being brought to book, Maybe this will stop. stop. And I pray that this will end. Mm -hmm. This will end in our society. Mm -hmm. We we'll pray for a better society where as a youth we can walk, you know, and enjoy our, our 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 civic right. Enjoy the freedom we have as a as a citizen of Nigeria. So I think we, we like I said earlier, please youth, let's rise up, let's wake up. Let's make our decision known to the government. If the government are not ready to do anything, let the international organization know about this. This brutality, victimization, and harassment of the policemen must stop. stop. It Definitely. must stop. It must end. 
and we pray that the God will give the parents of Idris the fortitude to bear this loss. I pray that this will end in our society by the special grace of God. Before we leave on the program today, I would like to drop a question. I would like to ask you first, then drop this question for people to drop comments on the channel. Please, as you watch this episode, don't forget to drop your comments on what I want to ask right now. And the question is, do you think sex should be scrapped? I've said that earlier. To me personally, I think it should be scrapped. Okay, viewers, thank you for being part of the gist today on You and I Evergreen TV. Before we leave, I would like to remind you again that we want to know your opinion about this. Do you want SARS to be scrapped? Do you want it to be scrapped? Do you want SARS to be discarded totally because of what they are doing to our youth and a lot of people, a lot of Nigerian citizens? That is the question we'll be leaving you with on the gist on you and I Evergreen TV this time. So we'll come your way again with another issue, with another exciting episode of the gist. I remain to Michelle Follow and Show. Thank you very much. We'll come your way next time. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and drop your comments. Thank you very much. Bye.